Hello guys, Pablo here. Welcome to this new tutorial. Today we'll be looking at obtaining and installing our signing keys, which are necessary if you want to distribute BlackBerry 10 applications. Signing keys are um, provided to you and after you set them up, unless someone else has your files and your password, um, they can really indicate that an application is truly yours. So it's just like a signature in real life. Obtaining these keys is, uh, is, is free. We're going to go to developer.blackberry.com and then signing keys up here. You have to fill out this form. Just click um, on the BlackBerry 10 platform. Write some of your details. And you need to write um, a secret pin. Um, a 6 to 10 digit password which can be numbers and, and letters once you're done click submit and up to a couple hours later you're gonna receive an email with two files two emails actually one with each file one one of the files um, is called client rdk and then a number dot cs J. Same thing uh, with a similar file. We're going to download those two files um, into a folder and we have to install them now. You can only install this once. After you install them, the files are, um, these two files are useless and if you want to if you need to back up your stuff or move to a different computer, uh, there are certain files that you need to bring with you, which I'll show you um, later on which ones those are. Okay, in order to install the keys, we are going to open a terminal. This is valid for, for, for both um, for Linux, for Windows, for, for Mac. The folder where uh, we're looking for a BlackBerry uh, uh, signer program. So you, you need to find that file somewhere in your, on your hard drive and go to that folder. In, in Linux, it's, it's this one here. Um, we're going to type that... Uh, actually, this should be uh, being executed like this. Oops, like this. Um, dash register, dash the, the pin and then you write your PIN. Then you need to define a password, which doesn't need to be, doesn't have to be the same one as, as the one here, but you can use the same one. It's up to you. And then just point the path of, of the two files that you downloaded. Uh, I just wrote like a, some sort of a stub for a path. Um, after that, you click enter, and if it's all, uh, you're gonna get a message. If it's, if, if it's, if there's an error, you'll know. And if not, the files that you need to find, uh, that, that you need to back up, are located in your home folder, in this um, folder called RIM, it's hidden, and these three files are the ones you need to keep safe. Okay, let's take a quick look on getting this same thing done, but in Windows. Oh yeah, before I continue, there's um, document. this process is documented in the developer.blackberry.com portal. If you go to WebWorks and then documentation, you're going to find it. So it explains um, the same things that I'm saying but with more detail in case you get lost and you need um, to look more into it. For Windows, um, the, sign the signer program is located in this very long path, at least for Windows XP, which is the virtual machine I'm using. So this is the file that you need to find somewhere in your, on your hard drive. And then you need to go to that particular path, so you just open a, a terminal. And yeah, it's, it's just going to take me a while to, to type, but I'll... I'll just do it in case you're not too familiar with um, terminals in general. Um, actually, that's in Spanish, but it should be program files. And then press tab for auto completion um, because I'm lazy. Dependencies. 
and then tools and then bin and in here you'll just write blackberry signer and then all the other stuff um, yeah I just typed that so it, so it gives me like all the help and the exact location of the of the files you need to back up um, you can find on the documentation page that I was just showing you and this same one down here um, you'll find the exact location for all the operating systems but it's basically the same process for all of them these are the three files you need to keep safe so that would be all if you've um, carried out all of these steps and um, you've installed your signing keys you're ready to move on